Hello, I'm Brian E. Porter, AMA trainer in project management, as well as an author and efficiency expert. Project managers and their teams will meet often in project status meetings. Therefore, it's important that we have a clear setup and rules established on how we run these meetings. To make sure that your project status meetings are productive, let's try the following. Leave the titles at the door. It's about the project, not about the people and their titles that are in the room. We should also make sure that everyone feels heard. People will give their best contributions and best ideas when they know that they're being heard and they are valued. We need to admit and forgive mistakes. Our own mistakes are going to happen. Admit it, be open about it, but also be willing to forgive others when they make mistakes. We're all human. Team communication and communication channels should be identified who, how, when will we communicate, and make sure that we keep to these consistently in our project status meetings. Silence can be used as a means of consensus. Make it clear to the team that if they don't speak up, we assume that they agree with the group consensus. If they have a concern, voice it. Know that that's acceptable. We should identify that one person speaks at a time, otherwise it can get out of hand very quickly. Let's make sure that we're respectful of one another Whoever is speaking, let them finish. Keep the sidebars to a later time. We all take responsibility for our actions. During and after the meeting, we take accountability for our own words and actions and make sure that things move forward in the project. We assign work to the right people. Making sure that individuals are tied into the type of work that they do. A problem solver should be doing problem solving work. A creative person should work on the creative aspects. And if somebody's highly analytical, let them work with the details. Make sure work is clearly assigned to the right person. Avoiding judgments is something that can be tough. But instead of putting something down and saying, we don't want to do this, let's build on it and say, that's a good idea. And maybe we consider this. Because we can build on those concepts rather than tearing one another apart. Be positive, even in our rulemaking. When we set things up, say, do this, do this, do this, we can assume that the opposite is something we don't want to do. At the end of every project status meeting, there should be a recap. Action items should be clarified. Each individual leaving should know that if there's a specific deliverable as a part of the project, they're accountable for it, they know it. That way, all those tasks do get delivered by the person accountable. By sticking to these rules, the project manager and the team may be surprised how much more effective project status team meetings can be.